All right, now today we're going to look at um, CPM and PRT. What mean by CPM? CPM stands for Critical Path Method, and it is for project planning, right? It is important for project planning. Another method is called PERT, called Program Evaluation and Review Techniques. Um, also another alternative or another method used for project planning. Um, for your info, CPM is a very, very old method, uh, but solid. Developed in 1959, it's almost half a century. And PR, uh, PERT also developed along the time frame, uh, but during that time, um, the program, this one, it was used to uh, by military. They monitor, they develop a new missile system uh, by using this uh, PRT program. So today we're going to look at these two <clears throat> program. And also it will be the one of the question will come out uh, in either your test two or in your final exam. All right, it's a very popular area to ask question. Eh? <clears throat> so this is the the video showing what is the PRT about uh, apply for mis ballistic missiles uh, development. Um, it's a very lengthy uh, video. It's a 32 minutes. Um, so I'm not going to play this video um, in this lecture, uh, but after the lecture, when you get the PowerPoint slides, you can go to this link, just click and uh, you can watch uh, how the US Navy, they apply the PRT uh, for their uh, missile submarine development uh, projects. <clears throat> All right, now we start with introduction on what is uh, CPM. Huh? So we look at uh, project network. So we we'll go through a few definition. All right, a few definition. So under CPM, okay, under CPM or PERT network, now we look at network. So we have two type of network here. One is CPM, one is PERT. Yeah? So they have a, they look similar but the way you process it will be a bit different. So don't use the wrong method when it comes to test or final exam. Yeah? So CPM has their own way of calculating. PERT also have their own way of calculating. So you need to show the steps uh, in your answer in test or final exam. Yeah? Uh, they look similar, but uh, the steps will be different. <clears throat> so when we talk about network, you will see branches and nodes. <clears throat> I think you feel familiar with this shape, right? <clears throat> in chapter two or in chapter one, all these represent workstation in previous chapter. So don't confuse with project management. Don't confuse with uh, CPM or PERT analysis. Eh? So in here, you will see also circle one, two, three, and then there's an arrow. So in here, we give a name to the node, uh, to the circle, we name it as node, and the arrow from the tail to the arrowhead, we name as branch. So node and branch is the basic shape that we use to develop the network. Now we go to CPM definition <clears throat> or CPM method, and then I will tell you what is different between CPM and PRT. So, for CPM, on the same diagram, when you have the node and branch, the nodes, the nodes represent activity. Under CPM, the circle with the number, it represents project activity. Arrow represents relationship. Okay, so we have done the precedence relationship definition before in chapter two or chapter one. Uh, we have done the diagram using precedent diagram. So the arrow here show the precedence relationship. For example, if this diagram was applied using CPM method, activity number two must be complete. Uh, activity number two only can start after activity number one completed. 
So meaning uh, you cannot start to after uh, before uh, you have completed task one. And it cannot go back. Eh? It must wait until one finish, then only can start two. Same with number three activity. Number three activity, it need to wait until activity number two finish only. Activity number three can start. Yeah. So this is the basic structure of CPM network diagram. Okay. Um, here for CPM, there is specific um, definition. We call it AON to apply on CPM network. What is AON? Activity on the node. We are focused on activity on the node. Okay. Okay. So this is for CPM. Next, we look at PRT. Basically, PRT is opposite of the definition that we mentioned in CPM. Okay. So what mean by opposite? If the same diagram used, but you were told to use PRT approach, then the branches represent activity, the arrow become activity, the nodes between them become events. Means here and here, these two will represent event. What happened between the activity? Okay, so maybe I'll give you another 10 seconds just to analyze and uh, rearrange the information. CPM. CPM give you this meaning. PRT is actually opposite or it totally different from what CPM uh, define. Okay, CPM represent activity. One and two circle become activity. Arrow represent relationship. When you are told to use PRT approach, it represent another meaning. Okay, this one become activity. Arrow become activity. The one and two circle become event. Huh? Become event. What happened between the event? Okay, now uh, this is a definition of event. Event is defined as a completion or beginning of an activity. Okay. Events in definition for PRT. Event is a completion or beginning of an activity. All right. So for example, under PRT, because this is the event, oh, sorry, this is the activity. So one represent before the activity, two become after the activity, okay, or completion of the activity. Okay, I hope you can get the idea by these slides. Huh? And for PRT, we name approach called AOA or activity on arrow. So it means that if you are using PRT, we look at AOA means what happened to the activities at that particular time. Okay. So these are the two main different before we talk about the detailed calculation. Huh? So you have to identify what does this circle mean? What does this arrow mean to individuals? Network. This one, one network. This one, another network. Eh? We will look at individual one by one. We will start with CPM first, then we talk about PRT. Any question? Any question for CPM and PRT at the moment? No, sir. Good, eh? Is Guru Dashan here? Calling for yes, Guru sir. Dashan. All right, good. Guru Dashan is here. All right. 
Now, um, a little bit explanation about AOA. So this is under AOA. <coughs> Activity on arrow network huh? or PRT network. Okay, AOA, activity on arrow under PRT category. So activity on arrow, it means the arrow represent activities, nodes represent event of that time, beginning or end of the event. So we have gone through this. We have gone through this. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, all right, we have gone through this uh, gun chart before, right? So um, this is a gun chart for building a house, right? Previously, we we'll talked about uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven uh, phrases when you build, or seven activity when you build houses, right? First, you design, you do financing, then you lay foundation, you order material, you build houses, you select paint, select carpet, and finish the work. And it represents the bar here, represents the time needed for each activity. And also, it tells you the relationship between the seven items over here. For example, you cannot start lay foundation before you finish the design houses and financing. You cannot start this one before this one. You cannot start this one before you end this one. You cannot start. You cannot start this one before this one end. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> um. Okay. You are seeing a diagram over here. All right. Diagram over here. Let me switch my side. Yeah. All right. So you see this diagram. Actually, it's a definition. Uh, it's a AOA projects uh, network by converting the information of the gun chart behind me into the arrow and the dot on this diagram. This is core network, right? So, how the test of final exam going to going to ask you? Um, you'll be given a gun chart. You'll be a gun chart. And you interpret the gun chart, convert the gun chart into AOA or AON network, into CRT or PRM network, right? So, uh, if you look at this, right? So you have how many activity? You have seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Under PRT. What does the arrow mean? The arrow means activity. So under AOA, activity on arrow, meaning the arrow is means activity, right? Activity on arrow means the arrow means activity. So you have seven activity on a gun chart. So when you draw, when you check your network, we are expecting one, two, three, four, five. Uh, what else? Huh? six seven minimum seven here you got eight right but actually you're repeating the process somewhere in the diagram here but when you count your activity in your diagram they should be have the minimum set of the gun chart eh? all right and then if you observe the the diagram over here you will see some numbers above the line or above the arrow. So the first activity here is a name of the activity, right? So for example, you're given a gun chart in test or exam. How do you build this diagram? You have to copy the name of the activity, put under the arrow that you draw, and then above the arrow, <clears throat> okay, above the arrow is the time need for that activity. How do you count the number? You read from the gun chart. Read carefully. Yeah? Gun chart, sometimes we play around with the unit here. Sometimes we use years, sometimes we use month, sometimes we use week, sometimes we use day. So be careful 
when you have come across a question, eh? look carefully the unit we use in the gun chart. Okay, look carefully the unit we use in the gun chart. Yeah? It will not always month, but it can be days, it can be week, it can be years. Eh? So when you do calculation later on, you need to be careful. So how do you know three? You read from gun chart. For activity one, zero, one, two, three. So you need three months. You write three there. So for activity number two, lay foundation. So lay foundation here. Two over here. So you can flip side, but uh, along the arrow here, you should see two things. One is the name of the activity. Another one is the time or period needed for that activity. Okay, now how do you draw this table? Again, you start from activity number one and follow the precedence uh, activities. For example, you know that the arrow represent activity in AOA network. So what do you do? You draw an arrow, mark one and two as the before and after the event, write the name, write the time, you have started the diagram for AOA network by first activity. Second, you look at the gun chart. What is the second activity after the first event of us? Uh, after the first activity in this gun chart is lay foundation and orders and receiving material. So there are two activities that start concurrently. So what do you do after the first activity, after this arrow, after the end of this activity, you will be expecting two arrow. You get you're expecting two arrow after point number two. With this, you split into two arrow. Of course, you don't need to draw in the straight line like this perfect example. Huh? Important that is that after first activity, according to this diagram, uh, according to this gun chart, you have two activity after activity one, which is activity two and three. So you split the you, you insert two arrow after number two. After number two, then you write lay foundation and you write order and finish the finance, uh, order the material. Split into two. <clears throat> Remember, under AOA, don't forget about the time. Calculate the, the bar length in the gun chart. In this one, one month, two months. So write two. Calculate one over here. Okay, when you split, right? When you split, then there will be some somewhere space here. Somewhere space here, we call it dummy. Uh, later, I will explain about this one. Um, then you continue. Huh? Because you see this one, how do you know which one to continue? Huh? So if you see this diagram, uh, activity two and three started after activity one, right? You have two activity here. One is longer, one is shorter. So you have two arrow there. One is longer, one is shorter. You pick the shorter and continue with number four here. Number four means after, after the activity of this one and this one. Yeah? So you continue with number four and then because there is a time frame waiting for item number three here. So this one uh, use one, one, uh, one month, right? For this activity. So you take, you take two months to lay the uh, foundation. So when you do activity, uh, when you do order, order material activity, which need one month. So actually you, there's a gap of one month. So when you do, lay foundation for two months actually there is uh, the waiting period for other material so we will connect number three not here to number four we label as dummy we label as dummy for aoa processor you pick the shortest one you and you continue and the longer one you connect back to the end of the activity here with a dummy line okay dash line 
an arrow header. And then you continue. This is after number, this two activity. After this two activity, you need to build houses already. So when you build houses, you can start paint, right? So this gun chart have two activity after this, this one finish. So you have two activity. So at the point number four, you split two arrow again because you have two activity running concurrently. So you split another two. Okay, you split another two. Um, you can uh, split another two and then one represent build houses, three month, you can count uh, from here, three month, and then uh, select pane. So select pane and select carpet is within the three month time. So what you do, you just uh, draw another arrow connecting the lay uh, the select pane and the lay carpet. So after because here uh, for the build build houses you need three months. So when you build houses you can do two things. Huh? So you 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 draw an arrow for for select pane this one, and then it follow because select carpet can only start after you done painting. Uh, after not painting after you select the pane. So after select pane, only you can draw an arrow for carpet and then you join the end of the activity for building house. Okay, so again, for AOA network, the two balloon here or the two circle here, it represents start and end of that activity. Yeah? Remember to input the numbers. All right, so these are also careless mistakes in exam where student know how to write the event, but always forget about the numbers in the arrow, in the diagram, okay? So take note on that. So when you finish build house, then only you finish the work for one month. So there's one more arrow connecting point number six here, and you write finish work one month until point seven. Any question on constructing the AOA network or uh, this network, AOA network from the gun chart here. Any question? Sarini, okay? Yes, uh, doctor. All right. Sarini, you okay? Yes, sir, get it. All right, good. Now uh, we uh, go a little bit of- uh, Hello, doctor. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to ask, uh, you said you have to take the shortest, right? Um, when you have two choices, uh, actually, it's quite flexible to draw this one. There's no, there's no one answer for that. It's just that uh, you need to follow the, uh, the what call, the, the the basic fundamental. Yeah. Uh, normally we will choose the shortest one, uh, so that we can build a dummy arrow for here, because you can see there's a gap here. Dummy actually is for your slack. We define the slack time in the previous lecture, right? So there's a time over here that allow us to do some waiting so that uh, when there's any changes to this activity, you don't need to redraw the whole diagram. It's like a Lily's buff here. Okay, that's why I recommend to choose the shortest time and then you continue. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it seems that you have a, a question. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead just now, like you have a further question you want to ask me? Yeah, the second part, like they didn't choose the... Uh, you mean this one, right? Yeah, they didn't okay. choose the shortest one. Right? Yeah, okay, for this one. Um, no, uh, okay, so because the, why why there's no, no dummy here? Why there's no dummy here, but this one you have dummy? Um, Okay, they, they, okay, there's one, one diagram I, I need to explain. Huh? Uh, okay, let, I will come back to your question later. I will have that one diagram that explain why this one, uh, we need a dummy. Yeah? Uh, let me see if I cover everything. Okay, this one, uh, just check the relationship, huh? recent relationship. I think there's one diagram coming up from your question just now. 
Okay, this is a definition of dummy. Yeah? Okay, dummy. Okay, dummy. Uh, dummy activities is insert into the network to show precedence relationship, but it do not it do not represent any actual passage of time. That's why when you use dummy, the time always zero. Take note, huh? when you use dummy, the time for dummy always zero. Okay, if not later, you, when you count for your calculation, you will have a wrong calculation. When you do dummy, when you have dummy into your diagram for AOA network, um, always put zero for the time. Okay, so this one is a definition for dummy. All right, so dummy, another definition in the textbook is two or more activity cannot share the same start and end in AOA network. In AOA network, dummy cannot share. Just for info, for dummy, only works in AOA. When we talk about uh, another network later on, uh, you will see hey, why suddenly dummy can 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 use one, but for uh, for dummy only or in a short or uh, in a more easier way is that uh, dummy only appeared in uh, AOA. Right? Of course, in the another network they still have a dummy, but rarely to see lah. Okay. Um, okay. Now this is the answer for the question just now. Why this process you use dummy? Why this process you do not use dummy. On the left hand side, as you can see, two and three, um, uh, what call? Um, these two activity, these two activity, uh, for lay lay foundation and order, you cannot draw two arrow. Uh, I mean the you cannot draw. There, there's a rules, ah. Uh, when you use uh, AOA, there's a rules that um, the balloon here cannot receive two arrow. The balloon here cannot receive two arrow. Means the, the, if you if you found in your diagram that uh, the balloon have two arrow, uh, red arrow uh, or the arrow solid arrow pointing, then it is it is not a it is not a correct uh, AOA network. Okay, this is an incorrect network. If you do not use dummy, you will have a scenario. This activity and this activity, you will join in the same point like this. Okay, for example, these two. If you do not use dummy, you are having one point, meaning this point, number three will come here, right? Number three will come here. And then number point number three, you will see two arrow pointing to point number three. These rules, uh, I mean, AOA rules say cannot, you cannot do this way. You cannot do this way. Why? Because you're going to confuse your project manager. If you're handling quite a loss of project in one go, your project man manager sometimes will overlook either activity below or activity on the top. Because if you join like this, you cannot check which one already finished, which one cannot finish. Because either one pass through point number three, you can start the next process. All right. So this diagram is to help you to do monitoring. Okay. If you join the two arrow together, either one pass already, you can proceed the next process. However, in this diagram, you have to do lay foundation first. Uh, you have to complete lay foundation and the ordering first before you can do the rest of the process. So this is the solution when you have this kind of uh, this kind of situation. Then you use dummy. Okay, dummy is a solution when you have this scenario when two of it pointing to one point in your first draw uh, first catching. Uh, when you design the AOA network from the uh, gun chart, you will see this activity. You need to convert this point into this diagram with a dummy. Okay. Yeah? 
I hope you can see the reason uh, why we use dummy. Uh. It is because if you do not use dummy, the project manager unable to monitor the real progress of the projects. Because either one finish, if this one, you use this one, your subordinate or your team member, if you use this one, either one finish, he can continue the next activity already without waiting for lay foundation. And then you, the rest of the project will be delayed or because of the, because when you lay foundation, when you do not check lay foundation and you already order already, and the things already here already, and your team member cannot wait until the lay foundation finish, he start the next activity already. Uh, then you have the risk of jeopardizing the rest of the progress. Okay, the, 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 the house maybe is not stable and then it will collapse. Even though you are near to the completion, but because of some of the procedure you miss, uh, it will risk the whole building to be collapsed. So this is why uh, these rules was uh, applied for AOA network. When you have two arrow pointing to the end of the activity, you need to convert this scenario into a dummy case. I hope everyone clear. So meaning in a test or exam, normally you will come with a second set of your sketching. You won't get the first first one correct. Uh, you The first one you draw, you will see this case. Then the second one, you improve your AOA network into dummy or a precedence relationship with dummy. So I hope everyone clear this one is that's why I use a special box here to 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 remind uh, uh, these rules for AOA network okay and for example this one you don't have the you don't have the scenario you don't have the waiting period for for uh, for example this one and this one uh, this one need this one so when you finish this one you can you can uh, do this one and you can straight away join to the end of the uh, build houses uh, phrases. Okay. Uh, doctor, and then the arrow must be straight or we can use the like the curved arrow? Uh, try to use straight. Lah. Try to use straight. Lah. Um, of course, if you draw freehand, try to draw as uh, straight as you can. Lah. Okay. Yeah, in exam and test, I understand. Um, um, but when you draw, you don't draw curve or something. Uh. So try, try like, to... For, like for yeah. example, uh, the, if you see in the diagram, this one, 4 right? to 5 to 6, I draw straight. And then 4 to 6, the build house, I put a like smiley face curve like that. This one? Uh? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, you don't need to draw like really straight line like this, but you can like slant it because this one break into two. Uh. This one, uh, okay, how do I position my this? I mean, this arrow can be going up a little bit. This one also, like, this triangular can 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 tilt a little bit, no problem. No, uh, I mean, like, if you see in the diagram, you have uh -huh. this four, five, six, right? Yeah, four, five, so six. So let's yeah. say from four to five, five to six, I draw a straight line, and then four to six, I draw like a curve, smiley face curve like that. Like that, uh? Uh, try to use straight uh, as straight as you can, uh, okay. Uh, but there is no rule saying that cannot use. There is no okay. rule saying cannot use. Uh, there, there is no 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 textbook that I read just so far saying that cannot use a uh, curve line. No, uh. but um, it's just a illustration how how you process with a network, because uh, now today we have computer already. You have Microsoft Project already. So actually, when you do programming. You don't need to draw lines. You draw. You do syntax. Uh, I'm not sure whether you learn uh, uh, simple programming before. If you do syntax, you 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 program the sequence of your processing already, right? So if something happened, then what? Uh, if something, then what? So it will automatic choose your process and then it give you some numbers. And then uh, if it's not right, then it will auto uh, give you some signal and then you need to uh monitor that particular so this is on hand sketching on on uh, building the network so that you see how what, which one is the critical one okay 
uh, of course, uh, yeah, back to your question, can use, uh, can you use a curve a smiling face? You can, uh, uh, you can, but try, try to use uh, as straight as you can, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, I hope all of you clear how to convert a gun chart into AOA network. Uh, there's only one area you need to be uh, careful. Lah. Okay, check always check your your diagram whether is this any double arrow or not pointing to one point. Then you need to fix the 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 point there with the dummy. Okay. Now we're going to uh, we have done with the AOA diagram already. Eh? We have done with the AOA diagram already. Uh, meaning we are done with the PRT uh, diagram. Now I put side by side. What is the AON network or CPM network? This is uh, AON network. The same activity, the same gun chart, but different presentation. Um, maybe I'll give you 10 seconds just to, just to have a visual observation. What is the differences? Just a visual direct comparison on the screen. Uh, what is the differences? Yeah. yeah. So uh, we are going to teach you how to build this one uh, shortly. Okay. Now, if you build AON network, you 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 need to start with the start button. Okay. Start your diagram with a square, and then start with the arrow, and each point for AON, each circle or each balloon represent activity. Yeah? So don't confuse between the AOA and AON network. Yeah? AOA arrow represent activity, but when it come to CPM or AON network, the balloon represent activity. Okay. Now we're going to build this diagram shortly. Eh? You guys need uh, a break? Yes, five minutes or ten minutes? Okay, let's continue with uh, this uh, network. Yeah? So AON, you observe uh, some activity that you need to, uh, some area that you need to observe. First is the activity. The balloon represent activity. And inside the balloon, you have two portion. Each balloon, you have two colors there. Okay, of course, in exam, you don't need to give me colors. Huh? You just need to draw a balloon. And okay, later, you see different shape. But this is uh, the, the, the most basic uh, setup. Huh? So each balloon here, you see two colors. So if you compare the first one, right? You compare the first one. First one is design houses. So design houses. How many months you need for design houses? Three months. So for AON, the duration for that activity you put below the circle or below the balloon. Okay, for activity balloon, uh, for activity on a node balloon, AON, the balloon, the below name, and the below numbers is the month or the time need for the activity. Eh? What about the, the top one? The top one basically is the number of activity you find in the gun chart. So in the gun chart just now, activity one is design houses. Activity number two is lay foundation. Activity number three is order receiving material and so on until number seven, finish work. Okay, so this is how you build AON network. It's a bit different huh? compared to AOA network, a bit different. Different presentation, but both do the same job for monitoring and for project planning also. And this is uh, some 
some uh, nodes there. First, you can see there's no dummy in the AON network. Okay, dummy only appeared in AOA network. Eh? And there's a rules when you build dummy, eh? and there's a way of building dummy. There's a rules when you should use dummy for AOA network. Eh? Uh, what else? Um, dummy is not required for AON network. Okay, because for AON network, you never confuse with the activities. You never confuse with the activities. Right, because for AON, you will see that all the activities here, they will have the same start and end nodes. Very clearly in AON, this one start here, reach this one, this one reach here, this, this one. But here, you cannot see very clearly which one comes first. Okay, that's why you need dummy in the AOA network. Eh? For AON, you don't need dummy. Okay, we stop here for a short break. Let me stop the recording. <laughs>